let me show you a couple of things about charts you can do within PowerPoint. Here we have a chart, but we barely can see what's happening on the bottom. We can take this axis. The first thing we can do is make the text smaller. It's not really a perfect solution, but you can make the text smaller and this way more will be displayed. But that's not really a professional approach. You can force PowerPoint to again display it horizontally. Let's go to test number two, select horizontal again. You can pick on this axis, go to format axis, and on the third option here, size and properties, I can go and I can text direction, it is set to horizontal, but PowerPoint had to do adjustments. I can pick something else, and then I can go to horizontal again. Now you can see it displays horizontally, but there is no place. But we told PowerPoint what to do, and it did. It displayed itself horizontally again. Consider the format. Why do you keep displaying day, year, day, year, day, year? We could explain maybe just the months. Right click, format axis, and in the axis options, let me close the options, we have number. I'll increase the number, and we have the type of date displayed here. You don't always need to display the longest date. You can go for three letter abbreviations of months, like for example, here we have January, February, March now. We can even remove the year. The 2040 is not necessary here. I'll press on the Y, now press on Add, I've deleted it, and we have just months now. If you want this to be shorter, just press MMM. This is a short for months. Beautiful, we've created that. Now consider a bar chart instead. Yeah, a bar chart has more place. You can change, or you can select the entire chart, change chart type, from column to bar, and you would have no problem displaying longer names like that. The second practice, good practice, I want to tell you about is color coding your data. I have here a couple of examples. I, I know this is self-explanatory, but you can color code charts from like low to high, or a sequence like that, where the darkest color remains the strongest, and the lightest color is like the weakest. Then temperature, you can have a color scheme that goes both sides, goes for stronger, deeper, darker colors. And here, colder temperatures, like negative values, would be displayed as blue. Another very apparent example is color coding green for increase and red for decrease. Another little trick I often use for charts and basically for anything is if you want to make something less important or predicted, you give it some kind of transparency or you give it gray color. This works perfect for charts. On a waterfall chart, I'm sure you know that you can select increase and decrease. Let me do this on an example. I can select the increase, format green, and this red. No problem, looks much better. Okay, let's go to the next example. The next example, very important, especially for bigger bar charts, is visually sorting the data. Like, this is a complete mess, but PowerPoint allows you to sort it from highest to lowest. You can click on the data, edit data, and you can actually open Microsoft Excel. With an Excel, it's no problem to select your data, go to data, and just sort it Z to A, or A to Z, the highest to lowest. No problem, close, beautiful, ready. We sorted everything visually. Good practice number four is editing, visual editing. If you pair organizing with color coding, with editing, you can have a beautiful chart like that. How would you do this? I'll click on this chart, the entire series have selected. Format, shape fill. I would start with a gray color to make everything less important. I want to now separately click on some data that I want to be important. Boom, boom, I have already prepared a color scheme for myself, and boom, beautiful. We have now colors we do like. I can add the data labels for the things I've selected. So just the three most important ones will have data labels. Beautiful, I could take those data labels, press Ctrl B and make them a little bigger. You can see we color coded the three largest categories. We added the data labels and made them bigger and maybe give the horizontal and vertical axis a line fill. Okay, this would look a little bit more appealing. I'll click on the bottom axis. Under the filling options, 
under the line options, I'll give it a width of maybe 1.5 and this as well, 1.5. Beautiful. This is gray, maybe not gray. Let me go to the filling options. Instead of gray, also this dark blue, beautiful. We have a consistent design across this entire slide with beautiful colors and it looks much better. I hope you understand those good practices you can apply to charts and it will make your chart and data visualization game simply better. Thank you very much for watching, for working through this exercise and we will see each other in the next one. See you there.